So you must have seen this question in various competitive examinations like NTAC, KBPY and other Olympiads. But if you will use a simple formula over here, this question is a very simple question. So if you use the identity A plus B, the whole square, that is A square plus 2AB plus B square. So basically it must come out to be equal to X plus 1 and that means it is equal to 2012. Therefore, I'm writing this much. But if you know this trick, you can do this in your mind as well. Hello, everybody. So you must have seen this question in various competitive examinations like NTAC, KBPY and other Olympiads. So basically, by just having its first look, you might find it very calculative and complex, right? But if we will use a simple formula over here, this question is a very simple question. And that simple formula is this. That suppose if you have got square root of 1 plus x into x plus 2. So what is this equal to guys tell me? You can see over here this is square root of 1 plus x square plus 2x over here. And I can write it in this form or not. You see this is x square plus 2x plus 1. So if you use the identity a plus b the whole square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So over here this is nothing but x plus 1 the whole square. So square root of x plus 1 the whole square, although it will come out to be equal to modulus of x only, but over here we are just talking about positive numbers. So we can directly write it equal to x plus 1. So this is equal to x plus 1. So over here you just start using this formula and start calculating from the smallest square root. I mean the last square root I would say, not the smallest obviously. And then let's start doing this. So you see over here, it is of the form x into x plus 2 or not. You see 2011 into 2013. So it is of the form x into x plus 2, right? And over here, 1 is there. So what does it mean? And square root of it. So basically, this will give you square root of 2011 plus 1 the whole square, you can say. So basically it must come out to be equal to x plus 1 and that means it is equal to 2012. So this square root is giving you 2012. So let's further simplify. Now the next square root if I take, see I'm taking it like this. The next square root over here, what will be left with us? Square root of, you see 1 plus 200, uh, 2010 and from this thing we have got to be equal to 2012. So you see 2012. So again, you see it is of the same form x into x plus 2 and plus 1 is there and inside this square root. So it must give you equal to x plus 1 over here. You see that. So basically it is 2010. It means it will give you 2011. I hope that is clear. So basically if you see over here up till this square root, up till this square root, you are getting 2011. Now, if you take the next square root, the next thing over here, if I take, if, you, if I simplify the next thing over here from this thing, I hope it is okay with you. So this is 1 plus 2009 and then it is 2011 for you. I hope that is okay. So you see again, it is of the form x into x plus 2 plus 1 is there inside this square root. So it must give you x plus 1. So I can say 2009 plus 1 or you can say this is 2010. So this is coming out to be 2010 up till which square root guys? Up till this square root we are getting 2010. Up till this square root we are getting 2010. So what are we left after this thing guys? We are left with square root of, if I write it like that, square root of 1 plus 2008 into 2010. I hope that is clear. So you see again it is of the form x into x plus 2 and plus 1 is there and inside the square root. So what will be the answer? If I use this formula, this trick, whatever you may call it, it will give you x plus 1 only. So it will be 2008 plus 1 or the answer is 2009. So what you can say that the answer over here is 2009. See, I'm explaining these things. Therefore, I'm writing this much. But if you know this trick, you can do this in your mind as well. So I hope this thing is clear to you.